What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to create a sky in Procreate. Now as you can see here I got a little background drawn of a beach and I have the entire area of the sky being completely blank. And what you see here in the corner is my color palette and that's what I'm going to use to help create this sky. Now for this video I'm going to be constructing three different skies with three different sets of colors which is what's here in the color palette in the top right hand corner. But let's go to my layers. And here's what they look like. So I have one layer for the color palette, one for the line work, and then all the colors of the beach would be in this group layer. And then I have my sketch, which we're not gonna use today. And then, yeah, we're pretty much ready to create the sky. So what we're gonna do first is give another color to the background color, which is this bottom layer here. Now this is the layer you get when you're pretty much making any Procreate document. So I'm gonna click here. I'm just gonna set that to this light blue color that's over here in the corner. I'm gonna try to match that as close as I can make it. Okay, I think, I think that's close enough, I should say. Okay, now we're gonna use this light blue as a base color, which is why it's in this bottom layer. So now what we're gonna do is create another layer. And in this row of colors that I have for this light blue sky, we're gonna be using this white and then this other like darker, more saturated blue. So I'm gonna use my white first. So I'm gonna tap and hold on it to select it. Then I'm gonna grab my big, huge, large airbrush. And I'm gonna apply this white to the bottom portion of this layer. So I'm gonna make a line that goes straight across. The line doesn't have to be super straight because we'll be blurring this later. So we're just gonna fill the bottom portion with just this white. And just color that in. And then we're gonna select on the blue. So we're gonna tap on the screen to the blue. And then we're gonna do the same thing with that same brush, but over at the top. Okay, now since the white and the blue are on its own layer, what we can do now is blur them. So I'm gonna go up here to my magic wand tool, and then we're gonna select Gaussian Blur. And to activate this blur, we're gonna take our pencil and move from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. So I'm gonna do just that. And as you can see, this blur is kind of taking effect. Like so. And then let's pick a stopping point, which is right about here. And then we're gonna tap on the magic wand tool again to deselect, and we're good. But now I feel this guy has too much white, and that's something we can easily fix. So having that layer still selected, I'm gonna go to the arrow tool, and as you can see, there's a bunch of dotted lines with anchor points. And that's gonna help us somewhat reposition the colors of the sky. So I'm gonna set this to freeform so that way I can kind of stretch it. Cause I wanna move this white down a bit. So I'm gonna take this bottom point over here and just move that layer down. Just give that a little bit of a stretch. Cause I want the white to still show, just not as much. So I'm really just stretching that. Stretch it out some more. And I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna hit the arrow again to deselect. And there, that's what our sky looks like. Unfortunately, I don't have any clouds to put in here, but if you do wanna put clouds into this illustration, then by all means. But for now, we're just gonna leave that out because we're just focusing on the sky today. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this layer now. And we're gonna do the same thing with a sunset sky. So let's go back to our background color. And we're gonna make that this base color that's this yellow. Okay, so now that the base color is a yellow, now what I'm gonna do is make a whole nother layer. And then I'm just gonna apply all these other colors to the yellow. So as you can see, I have some red, uh, vermilion, and then some sort of orange here. And we're gonna apply those colors the way we did with the blue and the white. So I'm gonna select this red, use my big, huge, large airbrush, and apply that close to the top. I'm gonna do the same thing with this vermilion. And apply that slightly lower. And then the same thing with the orange. And we're gonna leave some of that yellow visible at the bottom. We're gonna do what we did again and go to our magic wand tool, the Gaussian blur, and then move from left to right to help blend those colors together. You don't wanna end up blending it too much, so that's why you wanna to go to like 
50 or 60 percent so that way some of that red is still visible but that looks like it's in a good spot so let me deselect and that looks pretty good but if you end up with a different result all you got to do is go to this arrow and just make sure it's on free form and then just stretch this end in case you want to extend the length of the colors so that's what this beach looks like at a sunset but now let's take this layer off again and we're going to change the background color again to this dark blue because now we're going to apply a night sky to this thing but for this night sky it's going to have some sort of a pink mixed into it so we're going to do what we did with the first sky and have a light color at the bottom and a dark color at the top so the base color would be this blue that's right here in the middle so let's go back to our background color and select that blue oh it didn't let me okay close enough so we already got some night colors going already so now let's add another layer and then we're going to select the pink first and apply that pink close to the bottom and everywhere underneath the sand that we can't see and let's apply more of it up here as well now let's select the blue the dark blue and apply it close to the top you can also do this with the black since this is a night sky but you don't want to go too dark with it, but black is also an option. So now that the blue is applied, let's go to our magic wand tool, Gaussian blur, and blur those two colors. That way the pink down here is blending with the base color blue, and so is the dark blue blending in with the base color of the blue. And that way all these colors blend together. And there we go. And you see I did my best to kind of beautify that by adding this pink color because you don't often see the color pink in a night sky but but you know it's always nice to look at. So I switched it back to a regular sky and let me take off this color palette layer again so that way you guys can see what it looks like without it. And yeah that's pretty much it. That's how you create a sky in Procreate. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload and I'll see you in my next video.